Hello there, dear friends, and welcome once again to the Relaxed Fantasy Review. Today, we're going to be talking about the Artificer, the uh, strange new class that wasn't in the player's handbook. You had to have the books from Eberron or Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. And Tasha's Cauldron expanded upon the Artificer quite a bit, as well as providing us with all f the original subclasses and the new one. And we're going to be looking at one of those subclasses today, the Alchemist. A lot of folks think that this is the dud of the Artificers, but I actually disagree. I think that the Alchemist provides a lot of cool benefits to both you and the party. Let's have a look, see what they get. So right away at third level, when you choose this subclass, you get your tool Proficiency, where you get Proficiency with Alchemist Supplies. The Alchemist Supplies are okay. I would say that, um, you know, if, especially for this subclass, they're fine, but they don't really function a whole lot outside of that. They don't have a whole lot of niche uses. They're, they're kind of one and done. The great thing about this is that if you have the proficiency with alchemists already, you can choose any tool proficiency that you like. The reason that I'm actually giving this a lower score is because Artificer is a start with Thieves' Tools, Tinker Tools, and another tool set of their choice. Not to mention, there are several backgrounds that give you one or two tool proficiencies anyway. So by the time you get this, you're already, you know, picking your fifth favorite. And if that is Alchemist, fine. But I say that uh, for the Artificer and for this subclass, it's a 7 out of 10. Then you also get alchemy spells. These are spells that are always prepared for you, so it's just extra spells on your list, like the cleric. And there's not a bad uh, combo here. There's Ray of Sickness and Healing Word. You also have Gaseous Form, Cloud Kill, Raise Dead. You know, some, some nice stuff. A couple in here I'm not a huge fan of, but overall I'd say 7 out of 10 for the spells as well. And then finally, at third level, the last thing you get is Experimental Elixir, and this is what we're really here for. When you finish a long rest, you create an Experimental Elixir. It can have one of six different effects. It can heal, it can increase walking speed, it can give you a bonus to AC, it can have a blessed like effect where it gives you a D4 bonus on your attacks and saves, it can give you a flying speed, a, a short one of 10 feet, but still... And it can give you uh, the alter self effect. So there's a lot of cool powers in here. The trick is, is that the one you make after a long rest is randomized. You know what it is. So it's not like you're handing out um, something that's unknown. But you don't get to choose. However, you can use your first level spell slots to create new elixirs. And you choose what they do. So the cool thing about this is that... It basically gives you more things you can use your spell slots for. I'd always hang on to one for, you know, a random healing word in case you need it. But honestly, I would probably spend my spell slots every day just creating uh, flight speeds or AC bonuses or the boldness, the, the plus uh, D4. This is, this is a lot of good effects, you know, and... And the thing is, is that you can just expend a spell slot and create one as an action. So you don't even have to do it in advance. You can just do it on the spot. This creates an amazing amount of utility that comes out of the alchemist and combat effectiveness. You know, healing potions as an action is nice, but flying speeds and pluses to AC, also pretty awesome. So this is a 9 out of 10 for sure. It would be a 10 out of 10 if the free one you got, you also get to choose. But, you know, you can use your spell slots to make whatever you want, and it's pretty awesome. Now, at level 5, you get Alchemical Savant. You already have been able to use your Alchemist tools as your spellcasting focus. Our Artificers can just do that anyway with their tools. But now you gain bonuses to your spell rolls, whether you heal or whether you deal specific types of damage, fire, necrotic, poison, and acid. You add your intelligence modifier to it, which at this level is probably plus four, maybe plus five if you built your character right. So adding extra damage to, say, your cantrips or to your healing spells, this is nice. This is a good uh, thing to have. It's still just your intelligence modifier, but that builds over time. 
and I say 8 out of 10 for this particular power. Next up at le le level 9 is Restorative Reagents. This allows you to, every time someone drinks your experimental elixir, they also gain 10 hit points. So not only can it heal or give extra AC, but it also gives 10 HP. All of them do. And you can cast Lesser Restoration for free a few times per long rest. Lesser Restoration is a nice spell, and it's definitely one of those that you want to have. So now you don't have to save your spell slots necessarily for it. It's like you don't always have to have one extra spell slot sitting around in case someone gets poisoned or paralyzed. Now you just have it, even if you have no spell slots left. You also don't need to prepare the spell or anything else. You just have to have your alchemist supplies to do it. So that's not bad either. And I say that 10 hit points plus free healing, uh, 8 out of 10 again. Obviously you only get it when you know, someone drinks your potion, the 10 points anyway, but I still think it's a, it's a decent power. Then finally, at level 15, you get Chemical Mastery. This one is stacked. You get resistance to acid damage, resistance to poison damage, immunity to the poison condition, these are all amazing things, and you can cast Greater Restoration once per long rest, and the Heal spell. This takes the normally capped at level 5 um, spells that artificers get because they're half-casters, and it actually bumps you up to the 6th level spell, Heal, which is one of the greatest healing spells. You know, it's an action. There's 70 hit points. Bam! And Greater Restoration heals a lot of things. It's, that's obviously the greater version of the Lesser Restoration spell. And getting each one for free per day, awesome. Healing isn't the greatest strategy in the game, but it's one of those things you definitely want to have as an emergency. And being resistant to damage, even if it is acid and poison, those are not that uncommon. Enemies deal those a decent amount. Immune to the poison condition, green dragons, beware. But all in all, the, the power is pretty dang good. It, it, obviously, a lot of this stuff is par for the course for other spellcasters in certain races, but I still think it's worth a 9 out of 10. It is a very cool thing to get at 15th level. And that's it. The uh, Artificer you know, Alchemist is really utility-focused, giving extra speed, extra AC, extra hit points, extra flying speeds, and just handing them out. Basically, you have all these eff effects on a stick. And they're really, really nice. And it doesn't really power up your attack potential, but even so, as a utility and support character, I give this an 8 out of 10. It is a decent addition to the Artificer list and well worth checking out if you want to be that kind of person who has a solution for everything. This has been the Relaxed Fantasy Review. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe down below, and keep your eyes peeled for more subclass reviews coming down the line soon. Have a good one, my friends.